Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex Harshman with Wholesale to Freedom and today we're going to be going over the KISS principle. For those who don't know what this channel is about, this is about wholesaling real estate and how I can get you to financial freedom as well as time freedom, which is more important to me. I've made a ton of mistakes, made a ton of money, and I wanted to share all those experiences and the wisdom with you in this channel. So when you subscribe to my channel, to click the notification bell, you get notified on all my latest videos. You'll get exactly that, the how-tos, the tips and tricks on how to handle everything from A to Z, the motivated sellers, the cash buyers, the title companies, everything. And uh, today we're going to be talking about a very important tip. So without further ado, if you find any value in this video, please give us a thumbs up as it does help the channel and helps get the exposure out there to other wholesalers, people who want to get into real estate and change their lives for financial and, and time reasons. So if you haven't already, I've gotten a lot of great feedback from people who are using the Deal Machine app. Down below is going to be the link where you can check that out and use my link to get 15 free deal credits, which is equal to 15 free postcards and also 15 um, or 15 free skip traces. So for those who don't know, the Deal Machine app is a driving for dollars app. I have a video here. I can post and let you see that and uh, I can tell you more about it there. But I have a link down below that where you can download the app. It's for your phone. You can go driving for dollars. It's the best way to get started if you're looking to get started. Even on a budget, it's only 50 bucks per month and then it's a dollar per postcard, dollar per skip trace. But I'm giving you 15 free basically because I have a connection with the guy who created the app and he hooked me up with an affiliate link. So it is an affiliate link. But I, I did that for you guys so that way you can get the 15 free deal credits and help you get started even faster. So check that out. I also have a couple other links for some other programs that I use. So definitely take advantage of it. So let's get right into it. What is the KISS program or KISS principle? The KISS principle is one of my favorite principles and I use it in every aspect of life. More importantly, in my business and when solving problems. So if you've never heard of the KISS principle, K-I-S-S. -S. It stands for keep it simple stupid. And I remind myself of this every time I get overwhelmed and I just get, you know, you have a problem maybe with a deal, with a buyer, with a seller. And you're trying to overcome that and you also got several other things going on and you're like, man, what do I do? And you kind of throw your hands in the air and sometimes the deal falls through because you just don't know how to handle it. You don't know the proper problem solving. You don't have the problem solving skills to deal with that situation and it's not to say you could never have those skills because I didn't have them when I started out, but I'm going to help you develop those skills by this simple principle. So again, if you find any value, give this th uh, video a thumbs up. What I use it for in my business, so for example, I have another video up here where I actually talk about how I overcame a lot of obstacles in my first virtual deal. Um, there were some government you know, loans on this property. The property actually had a loan value of twice of what the house was worth and I had to coach the title company on how to handle this situation as well as find a buyer who was willing to accept all that responsibility. Talk about a very big problematic first virtual deal where you have to solve a bunch of problems you know all at once it seemed like and uh, you got to do it quickly because you don't want to lose the deal and you also don't want to lose your buyers and you don't want to lose momentum. So how did I do that? I just did the KISS principle. I kept it simple, stupid. Every time I got you know, overwhelmed, I was like, come on, dummy, think about it. What is the next step to solve this obstacle? What our brains tends to do is it tends to focus on all the problems that are going on at once. So I had to figure out how to teach the title company. I had to figure out the program myself so I can explain it to them, so I can explain it to the buyer, so I can explain it to the seller. And I had to figure out a way to organize all this mess into a step-by-step -step process to get it to the finish line. And the way I did that is, like I just said, I focused on what the next step was. So what was the biggest problem and how are we going to solve it? For me, at that time, it was figuring out what the heck this government program is all about. It was for whenever the hurricanes basically destroyed a bunch of houses, they had this government program that would allow people to use that money to rebuild sometimes rental properties and it would have a forgiven you know, date as long as you abide by certain rules. Not a lot of people in the area knew how to basically get that loan forgiven and also they didn't want to take on the responsibility of like a $300,000 loan on a property that's worth $150,000 and you know they're buying it for um, $70,000 you know what I mean? So 
that's a lot of responsibility to take on. So how was I going to, you know, convey this to everybody in all parties? Well, the first thing first I did was I solved the, you know, problem of what the heck is this program all about? So I found the, uh, what's the best way to understand something is somebody who either works, you know, in creating these kind of loans or is the manager of these loans. So I contacted the head person and uh, she explained everything to me very thoroughly and she was very informative and I kept her in the loop with the title company so she could inform the title company as well as the buyer and seller and that was actually the most uh, impact on that deal is finding who knows the most about it because I don't know the most right I'm just an idiot I don't ha I have a high school diploma you know and I'm gonna leave it up to the pros who know what they're doing and I found this lady and she was more than happy to explain it to me in a third grade fashion so that I could understand and she did it for this buyer and seller as well. So keeping it simple, I just had to figure out what the program was all about and how I can get all these pieces together. So I found this lady and she explained it to everybody. She walked the title company through it because they were talking about multiple pages of paperwork that we're gonna have to fill out. They told my buyer this and it actually scared my first buyer off because they're like, yeah, it's gonna be a ton of paperwork. It made it sound like they didn't even wanna do the deal. Very good interview if you haven't seen it already. Again, I have posted it up before um, check that out and let me know what you think but basically they didn't even want to do the deal because they never you know I guess they you do something for so long in a certain way you don't want to open up to anything else but I kept bugging them and I was like hey we're gonna get this thing done I'm gonna figure it out if you guys don't want to and uh, we'll get it done one way or another and that's exactly what I did Alex Youngblood for those who don't know is the owner of wholesaling houses full-time Facebook page it has like over a hundred thousand people who like it who are all wholesalers, cash buyers, things like that. He said it best when he was like, you know, most people fail because they try to figure out what it takes to be successful. But the ones who succeed are the ones who focus on the next step or the next obstacle and overcome it one step at a time so you don't get overwhelmed. And that, that, that holds true in the KISS principle. And that's why I love this principle so much because let's say you're just trying to figure out how to get started okay well what's the first step what is wholesaling now that you know what wholesaling is you gotta get some leads so how do I get leads you figure out some marketing how do I market once you figure that out it just it's a you know boom 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 and when you throw yourself in the ring you kinda gotta fight or you know you get beat up right or you just fall on your back so you gotta figure it out on the fly which I think is the best way to learn because then you're forced to problem solve right you have to figure out this process or you it's a sink or swim situation and it's very easy you just go to the next step and then the next step and then the next step and that's where a lot of people fail because they, they're like okay well I'm at this step but what about the step three steps ahead what happens when I get there what about that step after that you know don't worry about that a lot of times I don't even like right now I'm doing a title search on a property I'm pretty sure the person I have a contract with doesn't even own but I'm gonna go through it anyways and figure out hey I'm not gonna cut myself short I'm just keep it simple send it to the title company let them do the search and figure it out so that's what we're doing you can do this in every aspect of life guys whether you're trying to figure out how to be a doctor or you know whatever it may be you can do it keep it simple and figure out one thing at a time that way you can hyper focus because where focus goes energy flows and that's very important hope you found value out of this video this is one of the most important principles that I live by and I hope it helps you out you know in every aspect of life not just wholesaling uh, and if it does please again give me a thumbs up let me know in the comments below if you've experienced something like this or if you had any issues before like getting overwhelmed that way other people can see it as well and know that they're not alone. I myself went through the same thing. I got overwhelmed very quickly and then I just started focusing on the next step. As always, thank you for watching. I'm going to try to be putting out at least three to four videos a week for you all. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. I've been trying to make videos of all the suggestions that you all are giving me. And uh, I'm also working on my editing skills, trying to make it more you know, streamlined for you guys and uh, any s feedback suggestions you have greatly appreciated thanks again and you all have a great day